Hi, Apartment Therapy. Welcome to my 275 square foot studio apartment in New York. Although this studio is only 275 square feet, it certainly feels a lot bigger. And a big part of that is the 14, 15 foot ceilings. The previous renter of this apartment had her bed actually on this wall where my dresser is instead. And I wanted to create more separation in that sense. So that's why I have my bed facing the opposite way of my couch. So it really does feel like a different area. I was able to turn my chair inward to kind of create space between the living and the bedroom area. One of the first projects I did in this apartment was putting up peel and stick wallpaper. I got this pattern from Home Depot and I have it on both sides of my apartment. I feel like this creates a big distinction between my living and dining areas and kitchen. So as you can see, my kitchen is a very small and interesting shape and very common for New York City. One of the first projects we did was build these shelves next to the original cabinets. And what we had to do was stick a small piece of wood in between the added cabinet and the original cabinet to have it sit straight because these were not necessarily straight themselves. After we assembled the shelves, we primed and painted them. We also added a green shelf above the kitchen to maximize that storage space as well. We added the peel and stick lemon contact paper on the back of that shelf as well as on the countertop. And it actually pulls together sort of the citrus fruit theme. I also added this shelf underneath the sink. This was all open before which really just made everything look super disorganized. I also added this light in here to make it easier to find anything that I've put way in the back. This is another shelf that I added into this cabinet, which helps break up the storage in here. In order to maximize even more countertop space, I bought this peel and stick paper towel holder from Amazon. It's very heavy duty and fits perfectly under my cabinet. So these are actually two spice racks displayed as one. Another part of the project was replacing all of the hardware for the drawers and cabinets. So I also put down peel and stick floor vinyl tiles. Because this cart is located right next to my door, I also use it as an entryway table and place my keys in here, as well as other items like mail, etc. The biggest challenge in my studio apartment was storage. I really had to downsize a lot. I have a lot of storage underneath my bed, my coffee table, is a lift top and there's also storage in there. I got this two cube shelf from Target. What I keep here is actually um, my internet and Wi-Fi, and I kind of hide it with um, this photo of mine so it's not sticking out. So this is almost like a junk drawer where I just keep miscellaneous items. This is my blanket basket. I got the basket off of the Buy Nothing Facebook group in my neighborhood, actually. And I also have my bedroom dresser, which does hold the majority of my clothes. It's not super wide and it doesn't stick out, which I really like and I think has really helped make this specific area of my studio feel more open and easy to navigate. So this closet here is for items that I don't necessarily use every day. That's why I have my rolling cart in front of this door, but I just keep suitcases, cleaning supplies, some shopping bags and heavier winter jackets in here as well. And this closet is one that I open and use pretty much every single day. I really did have to scale down with my clothing and other items in the matching baskets to not make it feel like it was overflowing. 
So I also added in hooks here and here to add more space for me to hang up my bags, my hats. As you can see, I need a lot of assistance to get all the way up here to this top cubby of mine. But up here, I keep my bigger storage bins that I don't necessarily want sitting out. My most indulgent pieces in this apartment are my dining table and the two chairs. I actually went to an apartment therapy pop-up last year in Soho where I saw these chairs displayed in the small cool space exhibit and I just had to have them. They were my vision the entire summer. I put up this sconce that I got from World Market. I did have a lamp here originally, but again, I wanted to maximize the space and not make it feel so crowded, which is why I decided to go with the sconce instead. This couch is probably the best find in my apartment. I found it on the street. I started sitting on it, checking it out, and the owner actually came outside and said, would you like this? We don't have any pets, we don't smoke. The only reason we are getting rid of it is because there's a small tear. It's Italian leather, it's from Bloomingdale's. It was probably the best thing that's ever fallen into my lap, and it was a blessing to squeeze it through the door. <laughs> I wanted to put specifically a gallery wall in my studio because I feel like it's a museum exhibit of me. I have a lot of Wizard of Oz memorabilia because it was my mom and I's favorite movie. One of my birthday parties was Wizard of Oz themed and I was Dorothy and we created the entire Yellow Brick Road, Emerald City in my backyard. My mom uh, is the best at birthday parties. So I've actually had up to eight people so far in my studio for book club. We had everybody sitting in these two chairs, my white chair, three people on the couch, and then there were also a couple people sitting on the carpet on the floor, which was a big reason why I invested in a more plush area rug. Even though we we're only in a small area, it still felt very roomy and cozy. This is my bathroom. It's very old school with the yellow tile especially. I got my shower curtain from West Elm as well as the shelf, the rattan shelf above the toilet. The bath mat is from World Market. So <laughs> this uh, was my family dog, Joni. She uh, lived to be about 15. After she passed, my mom had these pillows made for all of us. She was about this size actually, so sometimes when I look over, I do a double take because it looks very lifelike, but it wouldn't be home without a piece of her here. Home is a space where I can be unapologetically myself, specifically in New York. I feel like I have, through all the craziness of the city, this is a place where I can come and separate myself while still being a part of the excitement of the city. I have a couple of mezuzahs on my doorpost and on the post between my living room and kitchen. And I have my Shabbat candlesticks and other Judaica displayed throughout to really show everybody that, you know, this is who I am, this is a part of me, and this is how I want to share myself with others.